Google Workspace is an all-in-one suite of business apps and collaboration tools designed for all shapes and sizes of business. It's also a popular email service for setting up business emails for your entire team. This means your organization can shift away from unprofessional emails that end with at gmail.com to professional and custom emails using your business domain. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now in this Google Workspace tutorial for beginners, I'm going to gently take your hand and walk you through the step-by-step -step process of actually setting up your professional business emails for your entire organization with a custom domain name using Google Workspace. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into the setup process, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into Google Workspace. <music> Okay, so getting started with Google Workspace in order for us to set up professional business emails for our entire organization, we first need to head over to our browser and type in workspace.google.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate over to products over on the left hand side and then navigate down and click on see all apps. And if we navigate down the page, this is where you can view all the different applications that you'll get inside your Google Workspace account. Each of your Google Workspace users will have their own set of applications within their account. Now, this Google Workspace tutorial is all about initially setting up your account and setting up your professional business emails. However, in another tutorial that will link down below that you can watch after you've completed this tutorial, we'll dive deeper into Google Workspace and how you can get the most out of all the different features that Google Workspace has to offer. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get started with Google Workspace. To get started, simply navigate over to the top right hand corner and click on start free trial. Google Workspace offers a 14 day free trial to help you get started and set up your Google Workspace account and identify if this platform is going to work for your organization. So go ahead and click here, then navigate down and add your first name and your surname. Then simply click on this arrow. Go ahead and add your current email that you use for business. Then again, navigate over to this arrow once you've added your email. Then go ahead and identify the size of your team. I'm going to go ahead and click on a small team, two to nine people. Then here Google Workspace will ask what domain name you want to use to set up your Google Workspace account. You can come down and choose an existing domain if you already have a domain for your business or you can navigate over to a new domain and purchase a new domain through Google Domains. Now, if you currently do not have a domain name for your small business, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of how you can choose the right domain name for your business. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you currently do not have a domain name. Again, like I mentioned, you can come down and choose a domain name through Google Domains or you can use another provider. This is completely up to you. And Google Workspace will walk you through the process of actually connecting that domain name with your Google Workspace account. Now, I already have an existing domain, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Select. So I'm going to go ahead and add my domain name in here that I purchased earlier from Google Domains. So like I mentioned, if you already have a domain name, add that in here now. Then come down and click on Continue. And this is the domain that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue. And if you purchased your domain from Google Domains, Google Workspace makes it super easy for you to initially set up your account with your domain. Now here, what we want to do is set up our first professional business email. To do that, simply navigate up to username, click here. And ideally, what you want to do is add the name that this email is associated to. So I'm going to go ahead and add my name, stuart at pizzapizza.com. 
Now you might be wondering about creating a username that's different to your name. For example, sales at admin at or help at your domain.com. But what you can do with each of your emails like this is add email aliases that you can use with your main account. So for example, for me, what I'll do is create this email here, this business email, and I could be the sales manager. So what I would do is add an email alias that is sales at patspizzapizza.com. And don't worry, I cover how you can add email aliases to your account in the following tutorial, the one that we've linked down below. Okay, so once you've added your username, come down and add a password. Then simply click, I'm not a robot, and then come down and click on educate your users. And Google Workspace will send information to your new users that you add to your Google Workspace account to help them get started with their account. You also have the option to click here, share ideas with Google based on your usage. I'm going to skip that and come down and click on create account and continue to check out. And if you're asked to add your payment details, go ahead and add those details. Remember, you're on a 14 day free trial. So if you decide you do not want to use Google Workspace, you can simply cancel before those 14 days and you won't be charged. Then come down and click on next and then next again. Then Google Workspace needs to verify the ownership of your domain. Simply navigate over to next. And then Google Workspace will give you the option to add additional accounts for your other users. We're going to go ahead and click next. And then we can activate our Gmail account. Go ahead and click on finish. First, what we want to do is navigate up to protect. Okay, so we need to add a verification code to the DNS records of our domain here. To do that, come down and click on I'm ready to protect my domain. Then click on sign in to verify. Okay, then navigate up to the far right hand corner and make sure that you have the correct Google account selected, the Google account that you use to purchase this domain through Google Domains. I have the right account selected, so I'm going to come down and click on add. And as you can see, all set, Stuart at patspizzapizza.com is now an owner of patspizzapizza.com. So I'm going to go ahead and click on go to workspace. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and completed the domain setup for patspizzapizza.com, which is the domain we purchased through Google Domains. It's as simple as that to set up. Now, if you're using a different domain provider, Google Workspace will walk you through the process of setting up your DNS so that your domain works with Google Workspace. Then once you've set up your domain, you can come down and create a new user. So at the moment we have Stuart at patspizzapizza.com. I can go ahead and click on create and create additional users and their email. However, in the following tutorial, which I've linked down below, I'll show you how you can create additional users from inside your admin panel. And then below that, we can activate our Gmail for patspizzapizza.com. Now it can take up to 60 minutes for your email to be active. All you need to do is navigate over to activate and then all you need to do is come down and click I'm ready to activate Gmail. And just like that, it's as simple as that to set up your Google Workspace account and set up your professional business email. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and click cancel for now. And then navigate up to the top left hand corner, click these three lines and come down and click on home. And that's going to take us to our admin home. And this is where you can manage everything to do with your Google Workspace account. To arrive at your Google Workspace admin, you can simply head over to your browser and type in admin.google.com. And then all you need to do is sign in with your email and password, the one that we just created. You can also navigate over to the far right hand corner and click on Google Apps. And this is where you can locate all your different apps for this account. If we navigate down further, you can find the admin panel here. And that will also take you here inside your admin account. Now, if you haven't set up your billing yet, simply navigate over to set up billing, then navigate down and click on get started. And as you can see, we're currently on the Google Workspace business standard. And I'm going to show you how you can downgrade to the starter plan. Come down and click on check out and then simply add your details and then come down and click on place order. Remember, you're on a 14 day free trial. So if you decide you don't like Google Workspace, you can always cancel before those 14 days and you won't be charged. OK, so because this is just a tutorial, what I'm going to do is head back to my admin panel. And back under admin, what we can do is navigate over to billing and come down and click on subscriptions. 
then simply navigate over to add or upgrade a subscription and then simply come down to Google Workspace Business Starter. Now the main difference with all of the different paid plans is the amount of storage that you have available and the number of users you can add to your Google Workspace account. So for most small businesses, the Google Workspace Business Starter is sufficient enough. Come down and click on Start Free Trial. And then if we come down, what we're doing is switching from the Google Workspace Business Standard to the Google Workspace Business Starter. To do that, simply navigate down and click on Get Started. And again, we want to use the 14 day free trial, then come down and click on check out and then place order. And as you can see, we've purchased the 14 day free trial for the Google Workspace Business Starter. Again, you can navigate up to set up billing if you want to add your payment details and you want to use Google Workspace following the 14 day trial. And to add additional users, simply navigate over to directory over on the left hand side and come down and click on users and then navigate over to add new user. Again, we're going to cover all this information in the following tutorial, which I've linked down below that will dive deeper into Google Workspace. However, that is everything you need to know to initially set up your Google Workspace account for your organization. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Workspace tutorial helping you set up your professional business emails for your organization. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.